everyone. I'm Tina Salamanzer and welcome to my show, The New Normal. My guest tonight is Tarim Huda. Tarim has studied in the UK as well as in, in Canada. He's been an international student. We want to hear about his experiences. Let's welcome him to our studio. Hi, Tarim. Welcome to the show. Hi, Tina. Thank you for having me. Kia was the camera on show. It's a foggy morning in Toronto. Yeah, I mean, uh, winter is coming, right? Like we're uh, we were spoiled with a long summer, but I found uh, it's looking like uh, time to get the winter boots and coats up. You ready to get the back in Canada, Jono? On it, on it. Chino, tomar kaste ke amra tomar shop ra kum experience jante chahi. Tumi to UK to porochyo, Canada to porochyo. Aage Canada experience se diye shuru kori. Tumi Seneca College esh chile na? The pratham hai, or a post grad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Um, I graduated in 2016 from uh, in, in the UK, and I came back to Bangladesh, and I worked at a non-profit, local non-profit, for a couple of years. And um, at least my like my a process of wanting to come to Canada kid started a year earlier than when I actually arrived here. So um, it was like I'm the first semester at Black Kurla, uh, Canada. I got rejected. And I was like, what was going wrong? Like, my grades were fine. Sussex is a top school in the UK. Exactly. But, you know, uh, with Canada, it's like they don't really, I mean, they don't really care as much about how what you've done outside of Canada as much as they care about what you've done inside Canada. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the time, I'm when Sussex translated me, I apply for them. They didn't even know how to translate the grades because you know how in the UK we get a A in 70, whereas they can A, right. a by 80. So, or our transcript, they can only go to the key C, B, 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 B. So, but I, <laughs> I have to like explain, you know, this is how the grading system works. So, it was, I found it very difficult. This was 2017. So, then I changed my strategy. I was like, okay, first, my job is to come to Canada, um, then apply for a master's from within Canada after I get a feel of the place. So, I looked at colleges and I spoke to Maces and they recommended Seneca. Um, I had a nonprofit background, so I chose the nonprofit program because I didn't want to uh, make a career switch, like choose a business program, even though it's my long term goal. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to minimize the uh, chances of visa refusal. And then I also had people telling me, college is going to be a college. I have a college, especially if you have a Sussex or a university. Exactly. I have a college mentality. I have a college in the university. And then, like, I had uh, people that I knew um, that were getting their visa refused, uh, left, right, and center. So I was very, very apprehensive at first. I was like, "Mane holy hobby," but ninety percent chance to hop chena. Oh, okay, like you know, and then it was like very helter skelter because I'm a teen much wait to My classes start in uh, September fourteenth. I think I got my visa on the seventh. I flew on the ninth. They were like, hey, try it, but I'm just in both time of research at Chamit, take it on my ninth day. So, who am I, Manojun, Bosha, Bosai, Tomaka, Kotai, Tukale, Tumi, Takba, Taka, Asian, say, hey, but we watch like a coach, like, you know, like, I No, 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 because, like, uh, at that time, I don't know why, but postgraduate studies, you know, like, there were a lot of rejections for uh, Canada because it's a lot harder to prove. Your I home ties. It's very competitive, though. Onik manush apply court system. Absolutely, absolutely. Like, so. if we're, like the numbers are uh, stacked against you because internationals get maybe fifteen percent of the cohort. Baki shabo their quota fill quota with local students. So, onik stuff. But um, you know, that's where colleges come in because it's a bit more lenient. Like um, you know, you can if you choose the right program and you um, you you try hard to get in and you contact the coordinator and the prof. There's a good chance, you know, you'll succeed ahead of, a, like, you know, a university degree, which is a lot more complicated, the process. I've seen it, actually, I'm not typical since it's a college, it's like a university set-up college, just different. The only, like, I'll tell you this, like, what do you want out of a degree? Do you want to be an academic? Do you want to be taught by people who've, uh, you know, who've uh, been inside the one room for 10, 20 years, have very little idea about the real world that's university right it has prestige asia asset but like i'm not canada actually at the end of the day i'm not going to kill 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 and yeah we have to build our network and colleges is like the the way it um the way it works is like from day one for my my professor so you know that's the kind of feeling i got and i was really happy with that and the first semester was like I was amazed. Honestly, I was amazed. I, I, I got more than I bargained for. 
মাচ <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right. data but oh, i took oh, a chance oh, oh, sorry you were breaking up so you also be shy get graduates to nai relatively no i'm doing it's a completely new but i was blessed with the incredible um incredible coordinator the guy who was in charge of designing the program he was my mentor throughout like he was always checking in to see if we're doing all right uh if we needed any help if we needed to talk just outside the class okay so ami first jokhon gelam amar professor gulake dekhe like they're actually like business owners or people who work in the field uh five days of the week they come in twice a week just to teach okay so these are people essentially who are employers in the real world right so to be taught by them to be learning from them was incredible like i still remember amar uh, strategic planning professor was uh, the ceo of career edge which is like a startup platform that connects uh, students uh, like newly gra- graduated students with internship programs and um my fundraising professor had it had his own consultancy firm so he was a business owner he was coming in twice a week just to talk so edher sathe one on one chance for it's, it's incredible you know so i mean real life mentors tomake porachi plus a personal attention to dicche so exactly like really? you know and they're they're a lot more approachable i would say in university with you know the the classrooms are bigger the the professor seems like a god like figure you know it's like <laughs> it doesn't seem like he's within touching distance you know what i mean and but college is very relaxed it's like ami amar ekhono mone ache ami ekdin early gelam class e keu ashne amar amar prof ache he is like cholo starbucks e jai coffee tumi coffee kine dichhi tarpor tumi amake tomar golpo bolo like you know ei rokom like after care actually it's very important kin amar mone ache amar bhai er kache shunechen uft class e naki 1500 student chilo kon ekta general psychology course e so how yeah, yeah. you ever interact or come at a borrow special environment e yeah so It will definitely difference make kore acha tomar kache i would like to go back to tomar university jawar kotha bolbo kintu ektu pichoner dike jai tumi undergrad to uk theke korecho so yeah so yeah uk mane academic culture at tapre canada e jokhon ashle ei difference e tumi ki rokom notice korecho um well some of the differences are because of the approach i took when amra jokhon like you know we grew up in bangladesh we uh, i went to school we had pretty much everything handed to us so you get the apart from the university there were a lot of other challenges where i had to uh, you know d- take care of budgeting like you know like a set amount of taka se per month i have to make ends meet i i like i mean you get thrown into a completely new environment you have to make sure you, you wake up you uh, you take the bus you uh, go to school on time so everything was like these are all external challenges right so Maybe first like growing up basically jeta jonno shurute amra pathai bachcha jacche ke bidesh yeah so you get the i would say my first year one year and a half was i was quite reserved you know i would just be like uh, going to class but i wouldn't really par- be participating i would be shy and stuff like that but i learned from my experiences my final year in the uk i tried really hard i tried to approach my profs a bit more i tried to go to office hours you know the thing about office hours is like you learn way more in 15 minutes one to one with a prof than you do in 45 minutes in a whole lecture so you know i took the first like the last year of my uk experience where i was more uh proactive and i applied that when i came to seneca so um i even after the lecture was over it's not like i was you know running straight for the exit door i went straight to my prof i tried to like get to know him put it, get, get put my face to his name like to my name you know just so that he knows who this guy is and we okay. can talk just he, just as humans not just like students and teachers so that's why like one of my biggest advice to people um you know going to college or even university just try and get to know your profs try and like talk to them they're they're more willing to help than you know and the biggest difference in uh, the academic cultures which i would say uh, favors the uk is that um ekhane khali lecture 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 like teen ek shopta teen charta lecture hai whereas uk te chilo it's like one lecture and then one seminar so you get you know, the seminar is essentially where you have a smaller group of people and you have a set of questions and an exercise and you kind of apply what you learn in your lectures in the seminar so I actually personally felt that was more beneficial than well, just having information. Seminars. Okay, that's a good deal. So undergrad you had more seminars. You usually did a master's in seminars. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So in that way, UK was um I found it to be uh slightly better. But um the 
I just feel workload more or less same, but I think the grading and like grading is a bit more lenient in Canada. So that would be, you know, Actually, any of the differences. The masters, though, I think the more scholarship offered, you don't know, you could take it. Yeah, so when I finished, uh, when I when I graduated Sussex in, in 2016, they were like, look, we really want you to do the master's in economics program. We're even giving you a scholarship. The only condition is that you have to do it right away. Like, you, you have to accept it this year. And um, even I'm trying to make it, I'm like, take it, you like it, there, you're, you know, you, you're settled, just take it, do a master's. But I was like, I don't even know if I want to do a master's in economics. Like, you know, I just spent three years studying before that I was in school for so long, I actually want to apply what I've learned. I don't want to like, you know, jump right into a master's. That's what so, did. Yeah, so I came to Bangladesh with a lot of hope. I was like, nah, I can a career banabo, HA. I didn't even make any attempts to stay in the UK, not at all. Cause when I was graduating, so often actually the Brexit thing was just like, you know, uh, on the surface, so it was like a really bad time. But, you know, um, looking back, I really wish that maybe I could have made a different decision because, you know, the two years, that I spent in Dhaka after coming back from the UK, where um, honestly it was it was very challenging, but it did it did give me a lot of um, taught me a lot of lessons that I um, that have shaped me today. So that's always great because our life experiences it like, makes us who we are. So exactly, yeah. এখন তারপর তুমি যদি ক্যানেডা চলে আসে সেনেকা তোমার এক্সপেরিয়েন্সটা ভালো ছিল তুমি বললে ও ওদের তো তোমার প্রোগ্রামের পার্টিসিপেট ডিড ইউ ডু এনি ইন্টার্নশিপস? ও সো ইয়া আই মিন well the program itself was eight months in academic component and then it had like a four month internship component gotcha. so throughout our eight months while we're taking regular courses we also took courses in workshop and training there was like a specific class where you would just go to talk about um like you would practice how to do interviews you would practice how to write cover letters you would practice like on a so it was like a really cool thing where it didn't really feel like a class it felt like money you know just from bunch of people gathering around and like trying to help each other. So mm -hmm. when I was after my first semester, after I did really well, I connected uh, really well with my profs. I'm like, like winter vacation, my prof phone the bole, je acha, we have a research project coming up. Uh, we just received the funding. This is for Seneca 360. So Seneca 360 is like a startup within Seneca, which hires high achieving students to uh, complete sense. projects for external clients. And mm -hmm. the model is like the school pays the teacher, uh, the school pays the students, the students offer their services to the uh, organization, external organization, and the external organization would um, essentially advertise or promote Seneca in their website. So mm -hmm. they're getting services for free. The yeah, student yeah, is getting yeah. experience and paid. So it's like a win-win for everyone. Right. Yeah. So, so yeah, that was there. I got that offer, and it was like the first official project for Seneca 360. Even I'm like a website. I'm সমস্যা <laughs> আমি ডিরেক্টলি কখনো জিজ্ঞেস করতাম না আমি ক্লাসের পরে ইউ নো আই জাস্ট কিপ টকিং টু মাই প্রফেসর আই উডেন্ট লাইক জাস্ট গো देयर এন্ড ইউ নো ফর দ্য সেক অফ আস্কিং আই উড অ্যাকচুয়ালি বি লাইক ইউ নো व्हाट्स গোইং অন হাউ লাইক ইউ নো ওদের আই ট্রাই টু এনগেজ देम ইউ নো এন্ড দেন গ্র্যাজুয়ালি বলতাম আই আই এম লুকিং ফর সামার অপরচুনিটিস আর ইউ এভার হ্যাভ এনিথিং এন্ড এভাবে লাইক আইডিয়াটা রাখলাম ইউ নো দে হ্যাড এন আইডিয়া যে সামথিং ডাজ কাম আপ লাইক ওরা দেল থিংক অফ মি সো দ্যাটস এক্স্যাক্টলি হাউ ইট হ্যাপেন লাইক মাই ফান্ড রেজিং প্রফ দ্যাট আই সেড ইউ নো হ্যাড had his own fundraising uh, consultancy he was working with another organization and they were looking for an intern and they um so she he essentially connected me with the uh, executive director of this nonprofit being like look i have the student he's looking for summer opportunities i know that you're looking for an intern i think you guys should meet so literally mane amon bhabe dhorai dilo je like the interview felt like I already had the job before I gave the interview. You were Bangladeshi Muslim and introduced to me like you did it. Yeah, and and this wouldn't have happened. This would not have happened if I didn't spend spend like uh eight months just trying to cultivate that relationship right. with my prof, right? So like the first person he thought about uh, when he heard about this opportunity was me purely because I was making that effort to make uh, right. get to know. So it's oh, yeah. very important advice I think for students to a connection glow to require in a professor this the early on shuru theke ei jinish to develop kore fela. So yeah at this like within the space of a year from the Seneca degree which you know a lot of people look down on in Dhaka I had 
I had I was um on the president's honors list. I had two jobs um uh, within the space of a year and I didn't know anyone in Canada, you know. Mm-hmm. So I mean at the end of the day like a college degree is what you make out of it. It's a springboard to uh get a lot of opportunities but it's up to you how you make use of it right nothing's going to be handed to you to me class se jab aap bosha sakba and big black pick kar ba no like they'll throw a lot of things at you i like cost you you know it's up to you to like catch uh, as much of it uh, as the opportunities as you can no that's that's a very good point that you make so senega theke then you transition to waterloo yeah that's another huge step that's like to jante chai Yeah so remember how I said I'm 2017 I applied to masters uh Seneca aa gaya I applied to mm-hmm. masters and right. did rejection to five jagah I applied with bhai 500 jagah spin kuch spin 500 and, and I was like what good. is going on so I I identified je that whole like there will be a lot of good well, there will be like students from all over the world having like great uh high grades but how they differentiate is between like references like you know the references chai or I like so right. I was like that is where I need to work So Seneca I um I chose two of my uh, favorite profs to write me references when I was applying to Laurier and um they wrote stellar references not generic ones I'm sure they wrote like ticker but you know he worked directly under me he blah 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 globus and when I straight up I'm like yeah, I got an offer and I was like I was really happy with it so I accepted it right away um I it was a big decision moving from Toronto to Waterloo but honestly it's a decision that I I like because Uh, I'm a small city kind of guy. I you get them in London, I take a Brighton prefer with them. So, you know, it was a nice change for me. I went there in the fall of 2019 and um well, it was I was in a unique position to compare directly college to university jao kirukum like you know the differences, the nuances and right. you know it was a lot more academic. It was a lot more mukosto vidya. You know, it was like we're going to we're going to give you this many formulas and this is what you have to like you know memorize it was a program in business economics so a lot of like a lot of tough um, microeconomics is really tough the econometrics was really tough it's just thing that i haven't done in like four years so i mean a prothome pura akash theke bolche je bhai ki mane it's like i'm not even getting to like talk to my profs this is like they're throwing information at me three times a week and i'm mean like you know i'm having to retain so much of it and i come back and like it's it's like you know it's really fast pace So I I didn't exactly tie at the university traditional system ei chole ar ki jeta usually amra mone kori Okay like you know it's it, at the end of the day it's like what do you want what, what do you want out of your degree I am a very extroverted person so I'm like like I've never been the type je onik porashona korchi and then you know mukosto korchi it's not just me like you know it, it, it's not in me so I was kind of I they call it an imposter syndrome where you don't feel good enough to be in the situation that you're in which is what i felt in university especially coming from college which is a completely different like culture and stuff like that so i but still you have to like you have to make do you have to be uh, you know you have to be resilient so oh, i um, i took some extra classes i i knew i was lacking in math because i didn't do it for like 4 years so i um ugla research class and then uh, waterloo is actually a really sick town in the sense that um it's a student oriented town it's a lot smaller you can pretty much walk everywhere um the bus like kono subway or karna you can take the bus everywhere so it was good and but like within two or three months of me accommodating and adjusting i you know i was up to speed so you know i can't complain so when then you, then you got into when you did the same thing like you know getting in touch with your professors and all of that you continued with the same oh uh, yeah especially because yeah especially because you have to choose your supervisor for your master's thesis so this is someone who And not only do you have to choose they have to accept being your supervisor so you know and i'm other on it um and it's very specific to the topic you want to do it's not like you have a host or you have a portfolio of professors to choose from so i wanted to work on uh, corporate debt and how that affects recession recovery so i only had one or two profs would be interested in this type of topic so i'm joking actually like when i approached him he was like oh i already have two students that i'm supervising so i'm probably not going to have to give you enough time so when i'm on it bhai So I, boy, 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 like you know, need to have a more like I, this is the only topic I want to do. So they were like, yeah, sure, come in. But you know, like um, it was it was an incredible experience. Like you know, master's degree is no joke. It's like it pushes you to your limits. A lot of the times I felt like quitting. I, a lot of the times I felt like I wasn't good enough. Like literally, I'm market phone day, but it's packed. You know, like you know, it's too yeah. tough. Like and um, but it's just that's that's what it. You know, that's why it, you know people with master's degree are uh, you know cut above. just undergrads because you know you've gone through that you have to put in that effort put in that money yeah it's really interesting chilo and so when we need to know when amader amar shobar jonno amader desher jonno the relevant could be ekta jinish no no yeah absolutely 
Again, that depends on whether you keep your grades high enough to be right. given that offer, right? So, um, yeah, I just finished it at the end of August. I moved back from Waterloo, Toronto, and currently, you know, it's a very, very ruthless job market. You know, because there's way more applicants and there's a lot less jobs available. So, it's a difficult you know, time to graduate. This year is definitely a difficult time to graduate. Shop minute. Oh yeah, yeah, and uh, there's a statistically, it's proven that people who graduate during a recession uh, go on to earn, you know, have a lower lifetime earnings. Compared to those who don't, uh, a graduate during a recession. So you know, it's a bit, it's a bit bleak. It's as foggy as the weather here, but um, no, I, I hope things. I mean, data to onyx shumai now reflect to my life. We didn't reflect it out there, but it might work out differently. We have another onyx important. You've made some very important points. Our actor just from pointer to me just a delay. The master's application, the the recommendation letter is very important. They read really uh, yeah, about you. Not just your grades or your transcripts. So I think it only can miss score a day. So I think yeah, yeah, it's very important, yeah. especially in Canada, that by court to do master's program, how important the recommendation letters are. So the students need to make sure that they have a job to reference it, that they have a job to know, that they have a job to know, and then they can refer them. You made a very good point about connecting with the professors early on. So yeah. networking, networking is is very important. We all we all use the term, but not, maybe not apply it as much. I think you can yeah. very important point just for that so i can say i to reflection chai me um at this time to me jab tumi to ekhon graduate korle obviously you you're looking for a job time the future difficult tomar moton um ekhon tumi jara char bochho age ba pachche bochho age tumi je situation e chile you know je porashona shuru korte jacho mane ekta transition chhe canada e porbe kina ekta abar masters korbe kina onek tomar transition er modhe diye tumi gecho ekhon kar bachcha jara ebar a level shesh koreche oder jonno to ঠিক <laughs> with every major decision i've made like whether it's going to sussex whether it's going to seneca whether it's going to laurier you want to start early because you do, you're 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 not in control of the external chances that you will face that will automatically push you back right so dhara ami ami ek bochor por canada jete chai so i will start my process at least 1.5 years earlier or 2 uh, years earlier because you know i spent 6 months actually trying to cultivate relationships with profs who would eventually write my recommendation right So this would not have happened if I didn't account for that six month time lag, right? Mm-hmm. So Egula said that. So you have to think about how am I building my application? Like the the master's application, it's a, like looking for a master's, uh, uh, you know, entry into a master's program is a full time job in itself because mm-hmm. every component have to have have to be right. And one of the things that like one of the biggest differentiating factors is the recommendation. So you have to build those relationships. So you have to start early. The second thing I see a lot of people um, going wrong, like. It's like Amra Bangladesh theke like khub selective korte university naam shuni that doesn't necessarily mean they're the best ones and the ones that we don't hear about it doesn't necessarily mean that they're not good so you have to do your own research okay um you you go into the specific schools uh see who the profs are connect with them email them you know they like a lot of people don't reach out like how are you you're about to spend like so much money on a degree and you haven't even done the due diligence so you have to like reach out to profs before you apply just to get a feel of it just to get a feel of academic culture that a lot of um, schools and profs and departments are a lot friendlier than the others so you know you you automatically feel more at ease you know if you're going to go there the other thing i would say is um if you have the opportunity if you have the opportunity go and visit the campus it is shobar thakena obviously but if you're let's say if you're say you did you did your undergrad in uh, in canada and you're looking to do a masters you know you have to go and like go to, go and see the campus the building it makes a huge difference honestly and um like i say i mean 
network. Once you're in the program, you have to network. Like it's, it's the only way. I know people, you, I, you probably keep hearing that, but it really is the only way. You've made some very important points. I hope students listening were taking note. Thank you so much. I'm so matured, mashallah, mashallah. I always really get amazed when I talk to you know young students like you. I feel that you you have it together, Aki. No matter how much your parents worry, when you have it together. No matter. Chinta bhavna shab kiche ani shundar kar guchiye tamra korte paro. Bhai, kine to aise manush hoyte hoyse. Chite kabu hai, more than chite. First, jo kono aslam, I does not know how to deal with the winter you know it's like so many extra accessories that you need that you didn't ever have even in the uk it wasn't this cold so like buying thick socks you know w- waterproof uh winter boots uh <laughs> heavy down jackets it's completely alien to you know people who've been in Bangladesh. They, that has a lot of mental effects like i will tell you like one of one of the things that completely unrelated to academic but it definitely affects your mentality which is like during winter months, when you don't feel like going out, when you don't see as many people as you would in the summer, that affects your um, mentality a lot, you know? Right. So, which, and on top of that, you're away from home, you're away from family. So yeah, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of uh, challenges that you have. I started taking vitamin D pills because, you know, I wanted to get like, you know, I wanted to compensate for the lack of sun that I was getting during the winter. So, you know, that's another thing. But, like, you know, yeah. very important pointers for Canada. And it's very important to get those winter gear so that you are able to go out. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. You, and yeah. the only way you're going to get used to it is if you put yourself out there, walk, yeah. and walk on, like, you know, on the snow, like, you know, just actually try to embrace it. And it's not that bad. You get used to it. You it's know, the commute, bad. for example. The commute, I like, bus is so bad. So, like, the, the winter, like, the, the weather is so bad. The bus is 20 minutes late. Yeah. So, automatically, you're having to wake up earlier. You're schedule gets pushed back purely because of the weather that's not something that we're used to so and the last point i want to make which is i think is probably the most important point that i will make today which is um i personally could have just uh, done the seneca program and applied for a job or a post-graduation work permit but mm-hmm. the way it works is like you get your work permit for, uh, for the length of your program so if my program was one year i would apply for a post-graduation work permit i'd get it for one year so that's while that is good, it's still like it, it's kind of risky because you only have one year to find the perfect job and have someone sponsor you and then apply for PR, right? So what I did was I did two years of education because I could get the two years, uh, three years of work permit. Right. We watch a Kole of our Sin Bosha work permit. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't have to be the same program. I combined two programs. And then, you know, so, and I knew a lot of people who were doing two college degrees just for the sake of like getting a three year cushion yeah, of, you time. know, post graduation work permit. So, there's so many things involved. Then, you know, we're not even talking about the challenges you face specific to the courses, the study. These are all things that are outside of studying. So, you know, it, these, these are things you have to keep in mind. And, you know, like I said, you have to start with. That's, that's definitely true. Yeah, 100%. And yeah, I mean, like, obviously, I wasn't aware of a lot of these things. If, if I didn't come to Mesa, I wouldn't be aware of all these, like, little things. But of course, like, you know, having an expert eye go through your application, you know, help you uh, through the details, it, it, it really helps. No, thank you. We're glad you may have played some part in your career. No, no, absolutely. We wish you all the very best. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Tanyaku. Uh, this is a wonderful program. And I wish I had this, like, you know, this sort of like live stream to like log into when I was applying five, seven years ago. So this is incredible for students, you know. I student that can help advise their journal. Yeah, absolutely. Um, good luck to all the students. And, uh, you know, keep uh, keep doing the amazing work uh, work you guys do. Honestly, thank you. At K Khani Sheshkuri, bhalo laglo thari. Amade kani kichhu bollo, ani k important kotha parte bollo. Mane videshe pura apprenticeship jee jana doorkar. So hopefully, a shota amade page third base you can access it. Or if poro jee thari me kisi kisi jante hai send us a message. Amroor kaste ke we can we can get you in touch with thari. Shabai jee jee khani asin bhalo thak ben COVID akono it's still there. Some bar. But the shote jee ta bolli mask pora khubi important. Ek mask pori onik onik. Abe nijee ke safe rakha jai bhalo thak ben shabai.